everyone welcome back i hope you're all doing well um this is my first vlog of the year my first vlog since having finley first vlog in a while um but i'm really hoping to do a lot more vlogs this year because recently me and ricky have been watching our old vlogs back and Oh, the memories are just amazing even though that like, Archie's only seven seeing him two years ago five years ago when he was a baby it's just like it feels insane that he was ever that little or his voice sounded like that you can probably hear the kids in the background now what are you talking about <laughs> um but anyway we just said to each other we really do need to vlog more this year um it's a saturday Buzz, the boys are at just home. Get buzz, just get buzz. Just get buzz. Just get buzz. Just get buzz. What are you playing? Just, oh, no, I just get buzz. <laughs> I also wanted to tell you about a really fun project that I'm doing this year. Um, so we're going to be working with Sky Cinema this year, which is really exciting because Ricky and I have actually had Sky for 10 years this year. The reason I know this is because in July it will be like the anniversary of when we moved in together 10 years ago, if that makes sense. Um, so that's when we got Sky. So it's really, really nice to be working with them because we're obviously very long, long time customers of theirs. And this year, Sky Cinema is going to have a new movie every single week. Um, and basically, it's really fun. What they've said is I can choose one to review and mention it in a vlog, chat to you guys about what I thought of it. So it's kind of like a book club, but for Sky Cinema, so like a movie club. Um, so I just thought that was such an amazing opportunity. And yeah, just right up my street, really. So the first movie that I watched was Save the Cinema. Obviously I don't want to give too much away, but I will only mention anything that's also kind of mentioned in the trailer too, so when you watch it, I'm not ruining it for you. Um, but it's a lovely, heartwarming film. It's really, it's a really nice, uplifting watch. You know, it's nothing too heavy. It's just really enjoyable. And it's based on a true story, the true story of Liz Evans, who's from Carmarthen in Wales. Um, she runs like a youth theatre um, at the Lyric Theatre but it was right up my street because there was lots of little um, musical theatre bits and the youth theatre did like Oliver and yeah it was a bit there's lots of singing in it actually it's not a musical but there's quite a lot of singing in it and um, it's just about her fight to save the Lyric Theatre really um, because they want to turn it into a shopping centre um, and she decides that she will contact Steven Spielberg to see if they can get a screening of Jurassic Park. So the movie, I'm sure Jurassic Park came out in the 80s, didn't it? I'm sure the movie's set in the 80s. Um, or is it 90s? Early 90s? When did Jurassic Park come out? I've just Googled it and it's 1993. I knew it was early 90s. Yeah, Jurassic Park came out when I was three. So it's set in 1993. And um, yeah, she contacts Steven Spielberg um, to try and get a screening, a premiere of Jurassic Park at the Lyric Theatre. And I won't tell you any more than that, but it just kind of, yeah, it's just a lovely film. Um, and it's got Samantha Morton in it, it's got Jonathan Price in it, some like incredible actors and actresses. And I just think a lot of you guys, because I'm sure you enjoy the same sort of things as me. I just think you would like it. So I will leave a trailer in the description box as well. But yeah, that's on Sky Cinema now. If you've seen Save the Cinema already or you go over and watch it, um, let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it and we can sort of chat about it in the comments and it can be like our little monthly movie club. So that's my hair done. Um, like I said, I really don't generally curl my hair if I'm just staying in on the weekend, a weekend day. But I'm not getting much me time at the moment, so it is really nice to just sit in, in the quiet, the kind of quiet. They've quietened down now because I've gone downstairs and just, you know, do my hair. If anyone's got any good recommendations for um, like a finishing cream, like, um, you know, like a defrizzing cream, hair cream let me know in the comments because 
I have run out of the one that I've used for a really long time and I just thought it'd be nice to try something new. And this will last me like a good few days now as well. So I won't have to worry about doing it. Um, might have to put in some dry shampoo, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go downstairs now. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna sort this bedroom out a bit, make the bed, and then I'll go and see what chaos is downstairs. Hopefully, Rick's tidied it up a little bit. Um, but it's Sunday, it's family life. It's just a bit crazy at the moment, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> now our bedroom's looking nice the boys have been tidying their rooms a little bit as well and now we're trying to do down here Rick's been tidying up the kitchen a little bit and I thought I would get them all to say hi to you because it has been a while yeah because I clean everywhere in the toilet you clean the toilet no you didn't yeah I did you clean the toilet I did that I cleaned everything in a whole bathroom you are a good boy aren't you you don't need to clean toilets darling I did That's our that. job. <laughs> so, for anyone that hasn't seen the boys for a while, they are getting so big. So, Archie is, how old are you? Seven. Nearly seven and a half, actually. Yeah. Archie's going to be eight this year. And seven. how old are you? Uh, seven. Four and, uh, wait, yeah, you are four and a half now, aren't you, actually? Yeah, well, I'm four to five. Four You're four to five. He's four to five. And since we last vlogged, we've had a special new family member, haven't we? What's his name again? Finley! What's his name? Finley! Oh yeah, that's the one. Finley, who's asleep at the moment. Yep, in his own thing, do you want to see him? Yeah, should we see him? Yeah. Yeah, I do the thing. And here's our baby Finley. Who, oh no, he's so cute. He's sleeping at the moment and we've discovered the only way to get him to sleep downstairs, haven't we, is to put him in the pram. Don't worry, someone's watching him all the time. I like I know his he's got, sleeves though. Like he's got toys leaves. around his head and his little Mom, um, I like his sleeves. Thing. And I so we're not leaving him on his own before anyone says anything to me. I'm going to see your dad. Here is, and here is like and six in one day. Yeah, you got this for Christmas, didn't you? Yeah. This was your special joint present. And what else does this table do? I won't lift it up because you're playing it, but... Oh, there you go. It's got a pool table and it's... Oh, there's nothing underneath the foosball, is there? But under there... No, wait, where is it? What? Your art. Your art thing. Oh, there. It's only... Oh, they're over here. So you've got like a ping pong bit. You've got... Uh, that's a target practice, isn't it? No. Is that not the target practice? Oh. No, silly me. It's and the it air hockey. A, a target practice. Yeah, I think well. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah it, it is. is. It's, a, it's the air hockey and target practice. And then, sorry guys, there's just stuff everywhere in this house. And then, this is lots of different little games, including a little mini bowling and stuff. Yeah. And then that's their drawing board on the back, which I need to give a good clean. I mentioned that in my... Um, um, and they hadn't tried it yet when I spoke about it then. But yeah, 12 in 1 table has been a hit. Um, I don't know where it's going to always live, because it's quite big. But they absolutely love playing it. And they play it most of the time really nicely. So it was a good Tell me why. And as you can see, not much wakes this boy up. I think from being in my tummy, he's very used to the noise of the boys, the dogs. He's just like, yeah, whatever guys, you, you carry on, I'll just sleep. <laughs> This side where your names are. Along the top, these are the five or four things you have to do each day. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is yep. you have to always make sure your room's tidy. Homework, mm -hmm. 
obviously when you come in, you're allowed to have a snack and stuff and have a little bit of peace for a minute. But, but I have no homework on Saturday. No, okay. but that's fine. Behaviour, that's general behaviour. So that's manners, doing as you're told, and listening to mummy and daddy. And I... Okay? No. No, you pickle. <laughs> right, and then more, we've got morning routine. And routine means morning routine. Wow. So that includes getting up, getting dressed, having breakfast, brushing your teeth. If you do all of these, you get 50p for each one. So every time, what? every time you do one, what? 50p? me and mummy will write 50p in the box. If we think you've done an exceptional job, which means you've been really, really good, or you've done something really good, you can have a pound. What happened? No. Yeah, we'll put a pound what in. What happened to stickers, Daddy? <laughs> what happened to stars? My, money's more um, of a incentive. Yeah. Um, not, not a pound. So. Not a pound, no. I'm doing homework, I don't think. So 50p, okay. 50p, 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 that's two pounds. And 50p! Listen a sec. Ricky, I really think you're going to need to rethink the amount. No. Perfect. I work that's every day, isn't it? Right, yeah, so, hang, right, listen, no, so listen, 50p every day, no. so you'll get 50p, 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 for each one of these that are done every day. <laughs> Someone's awake. What do I do? Because he's not drew a bottle for an hour. What do? He's watching the football. What lad? I can't get away from it in this house, can I? Are you watching that football? Are you watching that football? Bing bang boy. He's. I don't think you're going to get a smile. He's not Bing, in a, bang, a good mood. Oh, he's not, is he? He's like. So your mummy does that face. <laughs> Normally when she's got the arm with me. I'm hungry. So uh -oh. I'm not gonna smile. Oh, uh -oh. I hope this Power Rangers come to tidy up all this mess. Oh my goodness. Daddy, mm -hmm. there's a Power Ranger. I know. Because He's come to tidy up apparently. Are you a tidy Power Ranger? No, what are you? I'm a messy ranger. A messy ranger. Oh, we can, no. we can tell you're a messy I'm ranger. Oh, so you are a tidy ranger. Oh great, thanks for your help then. So he had his, his first injections yesterday and we're really hoping, fingers crossed, I don't know if, obviously you may have seen it if you follow me on Instagram, but if you don't then you won't know that we've been struggling a lot with what we think is reflux, like he has been such a sicky baby and we've just not been used to it, I mean both of them were a bit sick weren't they? Um, I don't like remember this. Elliot being so much because you breastfed for a long time but Archie definitely was a little bit in the early months. But he was, I breastfed Finley for six weeks and he was being sick on that yeah. too, like a lot. So, um, yeah, I've had so much advice on Instagram. In fact, when I've asked the questions about reflux, I think it may be the most responded to thing in my questions boxes and DMs, like literally ever. Mm. So I know so many people struggle with this, but what? Well, what we've tried now, we tried Gaviscon from the doctor and we couldn't get... Which did work. Well, it didn't work, but it slowed it down. Yeah, it did help a little bit, but it was still definitely being sick. Mm. And um, so then we were recommended the Aptamil anti-reflux milk from the health visitor. So we bought that and we had the Tommy Tippy bottles and nothing was coming out of the bottles. He was trying so hard and he just couldn't get anything out. I felt so bad for him. We were like, this can't be right. So we did some more research into it and then we bought bigger teats for those bottles. That didn't work. I don't know what we were doing wrong. But anyway, long story short, lots of you recommended the MAM bottles, the anti-colic self-sterilizing ones. And we've got the size two teats which come on these bottles. I just ordered them from Amazon and it comes out and it's been working touch fingers crossed i'd say for what about three days he's yeah. not really been sick at no all. which has helped him sleeping during the night as well yeah it's he's been like a different baby it's been incredible i, I don't know if that's it now i also think but... upping it to six ounces has helped yeah. definitely be more comfort in between yeah in well more comfortable in between feeds i mean yeah because he's actually full where he's at so he's actually resting and he's more relaxed now. Well, where he's not bringing so much of it up, I'm assuming his tummy's better. Pippa is sitting behind you up there. She looks like a cat. <laughs> and her, Finley's hair is exactly the same colour as her. Is it? Yeah. Here, and Rafiki's teaching me all about remedies. So maybe I can help. But, or, I mean, I can try.
tried it. Oh, you're I've such a good big brother. I've watched him do it though. Thanks, Nikini. Mm -hmm. The lion guard has to stop that. Oh, I did. We've got Archie Finley. What's that? So how about if I want to learn Archie so I let I help Finley? Yeah, in a minute you can do that. Okay. But mm -hmm. I want to do my art farm to help Finley first by myself. Then Are you with your brother? Are you with your bride? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll see He's staring at the camera. Got your little head. Oh, with your big bro. Yay. No, big, big. Big, big bro. Big bros go. Is he your big brother? Minnie. Is he your big bro? I thought I would just very quickly run through our extension plans, what we are hoping to do. It's been, we put in for our planning permission in May last year and it has all got approved, but then we had the baby and so much has happened that we've actually changed our minds a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about that now. So I know I don't need to say this, but the state of our house downstairs, as you probably can, can tell from the vlogs, is not great at the moment. Um, but I just, I'm gonna show you with everything in a mess anyway. And hopefully one day it will look nice. But anyway, um, yeah, so, this is basically our hallway. Um, there's a door here to a downstairs toilet. And then there's an office here. We've got the stairs. Um, going up. I'm going to show you the whole hallway and upstairs um, very soon in lots of room makeover videos that are nearly done. Um, there's a downstairs cupboard here and then you go through here to our living room and then Rick's just in here trying to get Finley off to sleep again. <laughs> this is like, well this was the dining room before but we kind of changed it around at Christmas as a little playroom games room for the boys and put the dining table in here and it's kind of just stayed that way and the tree was in that corner um, and then if you go this way you've got kind of a utility room it's just a bit of a makeshift one for now it's in a, a massive mess but you know it's fine and then you've got the kitchen which again in some ways like it does look nice but it's just not practical I'll talk a bit, a bit more about that in another video but it's just in a bit of a state and there's our fridge and even Rick's had to build this over here because we just don't have enough worktop space for all of us so I'll try and explain this as best as I can so this is the living room and then you go through here hello Arch <laughs> you go through here to the dining room um, and then outside the best way for me to probably show you this I think I've shown you before but I'm just talking through what our original plan was so we've got like this square out here um, which there's nothing in and then that that is our garage the plan was to use this space this square so build out here at build an extension knock the garage down because we were told we had to re rebuild it from scratch and use the garage as part of this room knock this wall down and it would become like a big open plan kitchen dining living space but we would have still also had this huge living room here as a living room. We unfortunately haven't had much luck getting quotes back. It's been so hard to find builders to get to get us a quote. It's been a bit strange, but anyway, we have had one quote so far and it's very, very, very expensive, more than we were expecting. And I just, we've talked about it more and we just don't think we're gonna be able to do it. And we don't actually think it's worth doing for the value of the property or we think it might make this house it would be lovely it would be a really big house but for the type of house it is it might be a bit extreme um so hopefully you're still with me and i'm not boring you i'm going to tell you what the plans are that we've ha had over christmas whilst we've like had finley and he's been a newborn we've just like calmed down on the plans a bit but we've still been talking through it and i'm really glad we have so i'm hoping this might be a better solution so if we go back a sec what we're thinking now that we might do is actually use this room here the dining room and then just build out where this square is and knock through the wall or like this wall here 
and through these double doors and make this the open plan kitchen, living, dining room space. That would just leave the garage as it is in plan A um, or plan B, we are thinking of knocking a door through at the end of the kitchen and having this as a utility room or a playroom or half and half or half a playroom, half storage. Like there's different options, but again, that would all depend on price. Plan A would be just to completely leave the garage as it is. Plan B would be to do a garage conversion too, but it wouldn't mean a full rebuild of it, if that makes sense. So we're hoping it wouldn't be as expensive. This would all be open plan. It would have probably have the kitchen running along the back here. And then this room would be still a, a sitting area and um, a dining area, etc. And then the rest of the house, we would obviously wanna give a bit of a facelift to as well. So that would stay in office, but all be like, uh, redecorated then as I said that's the downstairs toilet what we're thinking is maybe having this as a door into a, another li little living room or snug so if you can imagine like it's hard to explain but you go through here into the kitchen and this is actually where our downstairs toilet is in this kind of squared off bit so if we knocked that out this would make a really lovely sized front room uh, front living room um, and it would be nice to just be able to go into that from the hallway as well and then this room would be what we're hoping we may be able to reconfigure it as as a downstairs toilet slash utility room because all we really need in a utility room is a washer dryer sink um, we don't need loads of space I don't think so we might be able to have a toilet in here too I'm not sure like this would all be bricked up and stuff but obviously if we did convert the garage it would be fine because we would still be able to have like a downstairs toilet we don't want to lose the downstairs toilet basically of course but we really would like to knock it out of there and put it put it somewhere else so I hope that made sense I may have just rambled and you might be like what the hell are you talking about Kate um, but yeah, that, that's our plan now. So we are going back to the architect to get amendments. We need to get our uh, planning permission amended, um, get a structural engineer in, which we've already booked in. We need to get the builder sorted. Well, we need a, we need a quote. We need to know what it's all gonna cost. But yeah, we're kind of hoping that might be a little bit more of a cost-effective solution because although we, do, we will need stills put in, um, we would actually only be extending a quarter of what the original extension would have been. So, I don't know. But I'm really hoping that one day soon we can get started on it. Definitely this year. And yeah, it'll be really fun to film like renovation videos and stuff. But at the moment, I just keep walking around the house like envision, envisioning, envisioning it being done. Um, yeah, that's a little house update for you anyway. Us four are just about to feast on this before bed. What do you think, Mummy? They're very nice. Right, do you like them? Yes. Elliot, what do you think? I'll take that as a yes. So we've had dinner and the boys have just had, well, the boys had a shower and Finley had a bath, but bed and bath time in this house is chaotic at the best of times. And now there's three of them. It's ultra chaotic the, the water yeah yeah the boys have like just been hyperactive at bath, bath time um and adding a newborn baby to that mix is a bit stressful so i didn't film any of that anyway um but yeah the boys are just getting ready for bed um tonight i'm gonna sort out the two biggest boys and ricky is sorting out finley we're trying to get in a little routine of getting him in his cot um, at the same time as the boys go to bed. Hello, my By darling. By the way, we're going to watch the rest of you tonight. You can't, you can't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, to um, <laughs> so, yes. That's so, we might <laughs> vlog that. We might vlog that. <laughs> the plan is it's Saturday night, so when there's something on that Archie likes on a Saturday night, we try and sit up and watch it. Like, I watch it with him. But um, we're going to try and get Elliot to bed because he just doesn't like any of the programmes we watch. So it's book time and we're reading Let's your favourite book at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. It's their... Um, where are you watching, Elliot? Where are you watching, Elliot? They love this book. They got it for Christmas. And um, it's... You did. You did. 
Indeed. It's a story, but within the story, there are pages um, where you have like to find, fun. like, Archie and Elliot, and then you have to find lots of different things. Like the gem. Like, you have to find, yeah, all of on these things down page. here. And you they need to find this it. one and this one on every single page. So we've read the I book, haven't we? But there's things in the back. Um, where is it? That's what we're doing right now. That gives you more things to find on each page. Hi! So. And Hello, today, darling. And, so what, and yesterday we do? did Superhero Universe. And okay. then the, and the day before that we did Book Universe. So we're we doing Book I Universe, think we should Animal, do Food, Shrunken universe. universe or Superhero. Let's do Shrunken. Right, let's do Shrunken Universe. We downstairs to watch the mask singer um, yeah. and it took ages to go to sleep so it's a very late one isn't it mm -hmm. but we can fast forward all the breaks um, <laughs> so we're gonna snuggle up with our blanket I've got a cup of tea Archie's got some sweets for our Saturday night treat <laughs> and I think I'm gonna leave oh this tea is burning my hand one second I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here for tonight because I've got to get this guy to bed after we've watched this and then who knows how long the night's going to be with Finlay. Um, so I think I'll say goodnight for this vlog and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Bye guys.